yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy in the words of Franklin D. Roosevelt. At 7.48 a.m., the Japanese commenced their attack on the base at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii against the U.S. Naval Fleet. There were 2,300 U.S. soldiers that lost their lives that day, multiple U.S. naval battleships were taken out. Multiple planes. The airbase got destroyed. In front of me, I have something of massive historical significance. A piece here at Rock Island that we are proud to offer for sale in our upcoming premier auction. This Model 1903 rifle is not just a normal Model 1903 rifle. This gun has documentation showing it by serial number as being recovered off of the USS California battleship. On that date, this gun was present on the USS California as it got pummeled by two bombs and two torpedoes prior to sinking. Over a hundred soldiers on that ship lost their life that day. This gun was there. It has a document showing 352 Model 1903 rifles being recovered off of the USS California. This gun is one of them. Now, that document, dated February 1942, shows where the guns were sent to after being recovered off of the ship. So they, they were taken off of the ship and dispositioned to different areas on the Pearl Harbor Naval Base. This gun was sent to Battery 3, which sounds like a ship term, but it's, it's not. It's actually referring to one of the little outposts that were built on the island with massive deck guns or, or artillery pieces and so these guns were all sent to these different areas on the base different areas to protect the base that were put there in place after the attack on Pearl Harbor this gun in front of me serial number 341949 was manufactured by Rock Island Arsenal now Springfield Armory and Rock Island Arsenal both were manufacturers of Model 1903 rifles. On the document listing these serial numbers of the guns taken off of the USS California, it does not specify what brand each gun is. It calls them Springfield Model 1903 rifles, which that was the generic term for these rifles because the majority were manufactured by Springfield. These late serial numbered Rock Island Arsenal receivers are known to have been built, the, the receivers themselves were built at the tail end of the World War I era by Rock Island Arsenal and a lot of them were not originally assembled into rifles because of the issues partly with heat treatment. Later, these guns, the receivers, were reheat treated and assembled into working rifles and a lot of these are known to have gone to the Marines and the Navy because the Army already had newer rifles and the Army by this time was starting to get M1 Garands in service. So the Navy and Marines, the majority of them carried Model 1903 rifles, especially at the beginning of World War II before U.S. entry into the war. So this gun really fits the bill perfectly 
for having been an example that is likely to have been used before Pearl Harbor. It even has uh, its original early Rock Island Arsenal manufactured stock. There's, a, there's an RI stamp on the end of the stock that it's wearing. It has a, a rebuild World War II era replacement handguard. And it actually has a later February of 1944 dated barrel on it. Now, that barrel post dates Pearl Harbor by quite a bit. But it would make sense after being recovered off of the ship, these guns went through rebuilds at some point. This gun likely went through two rebuilds after its recovery off of the, the USS California. It, it was certainly exposed to salt water. It even has a, inside of the compartment in the stock, it, it actually has a, a little bit of a musty smell as if it were actually around salt water for quite a bit of time. Wood has a, a tendency to soak in these kind of smells. Everything seems to line up on this gun. It is really the type of piece that you pick up and you just know you're holding something significant, something larger than life. This gun was at quite possibly one of the most important historic events ever in our nation's history the event that sparked U.S. entry into World War II. And many brave soldiers lost their life that day right in the presence of this rifle. Here at Rock Island Auction Company, we have had the privilege to sell some of the most significant firearms throughout history. This example in front of me is up at the top of the list in terms of guns that have been at significant historic events. If you want a chance to own the best in terms of historical items, this gun will be offered for sale in our December premiere auction and you can bid on it and possibly own it. <laughs>